Hey there everyone, welcome to Technisha. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the month to date, quarter to date and year to date for a date that you enter. So let's say you enter a date out here as 25, 6, 2020. You can get the month to date, quarter to date as the quarter starts in the April of that year and the year to date counts the number of days since the beginning of the year. How can we do this? Let me show you. Here you see the different cells that we want to calculate and the cell C4 is the date which you will enter. Before we get to these dates, we need to get some information about this date. So let's get that first. I'm just going to unhide. Let's calculate the month, year and quarter for this date. So the month, let's go to the cell C6 and type in the formula equal to month of the cell C4. Close the brackets. The year, again you can calculate with the formula year of the cell C4. The quarter can be calculated based on the month. So let me enter the formula. If the month which is in the cell C6 which you have calculated is less than 4 which means it's either 1, 2 or 3 then it is quarter 1 and if the value is false then again we put a if statement if again the cell C4 is less than 7 which means the value if it is true is greater than 3 but less than 7 then the quarter is 2 and if that is false again another if statement where again the month c6 is less than 10 then if that is true that means it's greater than 6 and less than 10 it's a quarter 3 and if that becomes false it becomes quarter 4 yeah. it shows that the quarter is 2 for this date once we get this information from cell C6 to C8, it is easy to calculate our information for these cells. So the month start date, we can get it by typing the formula equal to date of the year. The year is going to be the same as our date in cell C4. The month, we've calculated already here, in the cell C6. And the day is going to be 1, start of the month. And the month to date days is just going to be a simple subtraction formula which is equal to the date you type in minus the month start date. There it is, 12. Now to get the quarter start date, we need to improvise on the formula. So again, it's going to be equal to date of the year. The year is going to be the same year. Now the month, we need to decide based on the quarter. So I'm going to type in the formula choose and the index number is going to be the quarter which is the cell c8 and if the quarter is 1 then the month is going to be 1 if the quarter is 2 then the month is going to be 4 which is april if the quarter is 3 the month is going to be july 7 and if the quarter is 4 it's going to be october so i type in the months 1 4 7 and 10 as the starting month of each quarter and all this is dependent on the cell value c8 which is the quarter you calculate and the day is going to be one which is the starting date of the month and we close the bracket and there you get the quarter start date and now to calculate the qtd days all we need to do is just put in the subtraction formula where we put in the date we want to calculate for so this is how we can get the quarter to date days and to calculate the year start date, it's a really simple formula. Again, you type in the formula equal to date of the year, which is going to be the cell C7. Month is going to be 1 and the day is going to be 1. And the year to date days is again a subtraction. Cell C4 minus cell C16. There you go. Now we've calculated all the required information based on the date of cell C4. So let's say I change this date to 25, 12, 2020. 
all the respective information is then calculated based on this date. This type of information can be really useful when you want to accurately track the progress of a variable. I hope that this tutorial was of use to you. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel. Till next time, ciao.